already. Isn't isn't this the next? Yeah, this is this is another oh. video. All right, well let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome everybody back to another Boldcast reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. And this is Hakone, the steepest in the world, episodes 19 and 20. Mm -hmm. I'm so scared, but so excited. I just want to make sure it's the right one. Me too. I'm excited as well. I can't wait to see what happens. Let's go. Leave a like and subscribe, please mm -hmm. and thank you. If you enjoy Run With The Wind, if you love all these boys. I like that it's a sash so they don't have to like be holding it in their hand the whole time. <laughs> They're already going. Wow。He's keeping up with them. Is that the back, but he's not falling behind. <laughs> Block the wind and the cold. Mmm. Smart. Nice. <laughs> that probably makes a huge difference. Yeah. You know? <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm so proud of him. He's, he's he's so close to them, you know. Wow. Oh, they're picking up the pace. Come on. Oh, be careful. But hmm? they're picking up the pace. But why? Because they're more that they're almost at the end, so they're trying to give a big enough boost. Yeah, but it's uphill. No, like, it's all flat. At, or there's it's an incline. Oh. To go on the bridge, like it's a slight incline, but it ma it matters, you know. I guess it's just what they've cons been conserving their stamina for. Yeah, just keep going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the f the first one is you know seconds here and there. <laughs> He's like, so the real race begins after me. You mad about that? Nah, no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna be on your comics. You're gonna be watching them. I think it was good for him. <laughs> Sorry for forcing you to do this, because he, he put his apartment yeah. at risk. Yeah, you can't give up. He's good, he's good. He's good. He's fine. It's fine, because he's, he's like less than a minute behind, and Musa can easily make that up. Oh, yeah. Fourth. Wow, he's been running every year. <laughs> ムサ選手は実に異色の存在でして離婚学部の子去年の春まで陸上を見えます。あ、ありがとうございます。たった 10人 Yes. <laughs> I love the like friendly and like s pure sportsmanship between the other teams. It's so good. <laughs> Is Shino gonna fucking die? <laughs> Yes. 
He's just trying to, trying to give him some encouragement and something good to think about. <sighs> Come on. Oh, gee. Wait, what, wait, 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 I think, I think they just listed like one person from all the big sports things. I'm not sure what all the rest are from. Okay. Come on, OG. You got this. It's all coming down to this, sir. if they got disqualified for going on the course. <laughs> That's so good. Gonna, he's going too fast, gonna wear himself out. That's really fast. Shit! That's too fast. Shit. Oh no, he looks- he's looking rough. No, yeah. Come on. Don't try to catch up, just keep- あの肉だ。レース区間ほど人はもうそんな言葉は気にするな。勝負は別の区間もたくさんある。肉の23キロも10人で作り上げる巨大なレースの一部と考えようはず慌てず確実に君にしかできない仕事だ。それから <laughs> I thought I'd lighten the mood by asking you about something stressful. 
Yeah, he's too focused on running. <laughs> you gonna run next year? <laughs> But you actually just calm down. Oh shit! He's doing really He's good. He's doing really He's good. He's really settled into it. There's big gaps. Already. Good shit, Musa. Fourteen <laughs> out of twenty. Damn. That's awesome. <laughs> That's Hell awesome. yeah! Hell yeah! Mm, if everyone just passes a couple guys. Oh.来年か。ごめんね、金さん。多分。ここまでだ。ジョージは弟は岩場魂の一緒に寝て遊んで。学校に行って怪我つかなくて俺たちが話しかける時もあった感じになってこっちも困らせるようなことをしたりしたでも俺たちは別々の人間だジョー太郎あいつはジョー次郎だ蔵でもある好きな食べ物僕の位置女の子性
and no one can tell us apart. And now you found your thing and I'll, I'll go and find whatever I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. and it's really nice. Yeah. Wow. He's doing awesome. <laughs> he just bursts past. <laughs> One brother got running, the other one got the girl. <laughs> Don't get distracted, you fool! <laughs> Girls will like you if you do good at running. He never told a word of a lie in his entire life. <laughs> oh shit! First? No, not first. Not first. No. Right? No, but he's he's really he's really overtaking them. Well, don't tell him that. Go. <laughs> what if he just falls on his face? <laughs> he just like trips and falls immediately. Oh my goodness. This is heating up. Like I, oh. I'm. It's so uh, seam. I, I love how seamless it is. How it goes I, from like character like, to character. Yeah, they're really. They're doing an awesome job because only one person's running at a time. But they're doing such a great job of just like, you know, each going into the next person. It's it feels so sad. Awesome. It feels like goodbye. It, I know. It, feel, it feels like we're we're like getting a summary of their character and we're like kind of saying goodbye. Like to them. everyone has reached their peak. And yeah. Then, <sighs> But I do like it. I, I think part of the reason why I really like it is because the show is so realistic. Like it's it's so real life and really captures that like university. Every yeah. everyone's here and it is temporary. Like it, it just is. Um, so I, I and I love to see how far everyone's relationships have come. Their like rivalries slash friendships with other teams and like. Just the way every everyone is so respectful of each other and just having such a good time. Mm -hmm. And, like, yeah, and, and the way they're setting it up, like, yes, yeah, some people might stay in the team next year. May, like, you know, mm -hmm. may, may, like, it'll, it'll be different. We won't, there, a lot of, a lot of the group is in fourth year. Some of them might not come back at all. Mm -hmm. um, but the, you know, they've had the best time while they've been here working as a team and that's they they've made all their good memories and that's what really matters and they gave it their all at like the you know in in the end like so far everyone has been doing the best that they possibly can yeah and it's just it's just so nice to watch it's so incredibly satisfying and wholesome it's just like what what more could you want out of this race yeah you know next episode ready let's go fucks up the entire race <laughs> 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 Those guys are just like, what the fuck? Oh, oh. my god! You idiot! <laughs> yeah. Why would you say that? <laughs> just he's just crying the whole time. I thought she liked me. <laughs> ちゃんと走れ、バカ。Oh my god. Well she she's gonna be in like the same spot cheering for for him too and he's gonna think that she likes him.
オッケーてか、花火どうして俺らのことを見分けられんの Because one of you is wearing a necklace <笑>今、自然だからそう。<laughs>どうしたの<笑> 
けた時のその負け方どう負けを認めどう投了するかそれが寛容だ Don't tell to resign 投了したのだと揶揄する者はおらんむしろ見事投げ場を取っただろうなぜならその男がとしていたことを皆知っているからだ振動は無理なら手を挙げろすぐにお前を止めるわあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、わあ、It's like the hand of death. Like, he's gonna just. No. Is he gonna actually die? Is he dying? He's not dying! <gasps> no way. No way. No way. Oh my god. Oh my god! Did he like just make it across? Oh, thank god. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. <sighs> can you at least stop Haiji from fucking up his leg after this? Yeah, and can you at least stop everyone from sitting one foot away from someone with a horrible fever? <laughs> no. <laughs> It'll be fun as long as you're not dead. Mina, <laughs> <laughs> This show, it might man. snow tomorrow. 
はい陸上やってたんで父親がいやうちそういうコミュニケーションはな,なんでそんなことを俺の父親は高校で陸上の監督をしている俺はそこの部員だった<笑>ただ陸上バカだ俺は考える余地もなく徹底管理の足を走らされてる That's why he went for two years on a broken knee because it was his dad. I really missed it when he wasn't allowed. Is <laughs> <laughs> that how he was loading up all of Prince's stuff? <laughs> みんなを振り回してしまった十人しかいないのは分かりきっていたことですでも十人じゃない商店街、大学、遠くのも含めてチームです誰も振り回されたなんて思ってないだとしても俺がそれを感謝していることを忘れないでください走りましょう今まで最高の走りをするんです俺たちが This episode's really, really good. Yeah. You need to go to bed. It just leaves. <laughs> Even if I break is the name of this episode. <gasps> I was, I thought, I, I think we all thought that it was gonna be Haiji and not fucking Shindo. That was. That was like I, I I I like I was not expecting watching the show to ever be on pins and needles and like like uh, like on the edge of my seat like I was in this episode. It's this so, is the best episode of the show. This is really really this is really, the best really episode good. of the show. I I I love it. I love as well. And I and I think what's so heartbreaking about it is that Shindo was like like he. It was so supportive and he like he, he so, wanted like, he wanted strong. it so much like you could really tell he he worked really hard and he you know he made the fan club t-shirts and he made you the know, website he, and he he, he wanted them the to like go far he wanted he wanted everyone to be a team and everyone to you know do and then for i imagine his for girlfriend him, broke up with him for this i imagine for him in like he has worked so hard and he has put so much into this and then your body just gives out on you and it must just be the worst feeling because it's he he wants to run he he wants to do it and he just is at such a severe disadvantage and just feeling like absolute garbage but he doesn't want everything that he's worked for and everything everyone's worked for to go to waste it's just <sighs> really gets you going. Jesus Christ, man. And I, yeah, what you're saying about you didn't expect to be so intense for this show. It's so interesting because we, we haven't seen a lot of sports anime, just this in Haikyuu. But, like, in Haikyuu, almost every, like, especially in the later seasons, almost every episode was, like, you're on the edge of your seat, you're freaking out, you don't know what's going to happen. But the thing about running is it's, like, an individual, it's, like, a lot, it's, like, a long thing like they're, they're running for an hour at a yeah. time it's an, it's not in volleyball where it's like a one second decision it's a, yeah. it's about pacing yourself and choosing the right moments to pass people and you know pushing through so it's i what really comes through is like the characters and the, you know his story and what his family and where he's from and there everything like kind of builds it up because he's just running mm -hmm. Uh, and it, but it's done so well. What's interesting is because he's the fifth one, 
everyone else had that like very clear it was set up over the last few episodes of everybody has a clear like okay they have the sash now we get their internal monologue and we get Mm -hmm. a summary of their character and their experience and who they are and everything and then with him we don't get anything. Yeah, we just we, get, we didn't like, get anything from him. Flailing around, and we see some shots of his family. We everything was about everybody looking at him, and like, so it immediately like changes the pace mm-hmm. of the episodes, where you're now not in in the character's head in the same way. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, your exper- the experience is immediately shifting. You're like, oh shit, something's like off immediately. Yeah, the, just the way that everything's presented. <sighs> but holy fuck, when he when he fell and then it cut to commercial break and then he came like, back <laughs> and he crossed the finish line, I was yeah. and he got caught. I was like, if he falls, he's he could die. Like Just crack his head open. Yeah. <sighs> oh my god! And freaking <laughs> Joji getting all in his head about it. And then they get the coach. If you like her, run. The guy <laughs> driving the car is just like. What even is this? Team? He doesn't. He didn't even say. That. He's just no, like. No, he's he's just thinking. He's just, and then like the and then like five minutes no, like and then like an hour later or whatever, he's like giving some like philosoph- philosophical like speech, and the guy driving the truck's really just like, this is exceptionally weird team. <laughs> <laughs> and I love how they're all sleeping in the same room. Even this the three of them, I guess. Shindo, Yuki, and the coach. Yeah. I really like as well, yeah, Yuki really taking care of him and getting him ready and everything. It was really good. I love it. And Yuki, Yuki is up first, I believe. I thought Cocker was up first. No, he's on the downhill. Cocker is on the downhill? Yuki's on the downhill. Oh, okay. Because they, they go down and back. Uh, Cocker is on the same one that Musa was on, but the other way. Right. Uh, which I think is a really good spot for him. Especially since, yeah, they... I, I love how, like, Prince goes, they're at a disadvantage, Musa makes it up, and then they're, like, making it up, and now it's, like, they're just back, they're back to, like, even worse than when yeah. p- when Prince had finished. They are far, yeah, they're far behind and everyone it's, else. And what also, the what makes the stakes even bigger for this, of, like, if he didn't finish, the only people, like, the people who have run are not even the people who, like, maybe needed to run the most, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, like the like the, there's like you have the two guys who like love running and wanted to run. They haven't run. We have Nico who like used to run. Like you know what I mean? Like yeah, some, some yeah, of them, yeah. Some of the Yuki who just like actively hated it and then and now, and is now so is into really it. into yeah. it. It's you know I mean everyone has had their own journey, but it's it's uh, you know the twins and Musa were kind of all just in for it relatively quickly. And they like it, but it's 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 not the same as some of the other characters. So, I I love that that's how they do it as well. Like, you know, just to have the additional stakes of like if he drops dead here, mm-hmm. the some of the some of like the most highly anticipated ones won't get to run, and you you know you just it's crazy. Yeah, and we got a uh, Heidi's backstory too, mm-hmm. which is really sad, and that's why uh, the, when when. Fujioka was like, what did the coach say about your knee? And he's like, uh, nothing really have at patience. all. Yeah, have patience. Like, what? Yeah. I just, I just we, we, we've been getting bits and pieces of it the whole time. But yeah, that makes sense why it's, why his knee is so fucked up. It's like, not only did he like tear his meniscus or whatever the hell happened, he, his dad basically forced him to run on a broken knee for two years. Not directly. He probably could have stopped, but his dad was super hard, hard on him, and the only way you could get his approval is by running. Mm-hmm. So that sucks ass. What? I just, I just don't want him to wreck his knee even more. I'm, I'm get, I'm getting so upset about it preemptively. He hasn't even done it, but I know he's going to. Of course he's going to, and I'm excited to see it. <laughs> Not happy about seeing it, but I'm excited to see how it turns out. Leave a like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. Bye-bye. Check out Patreon.